After watching the recent presidential debates, I found myself wanting to discuss the libertarian factor. Did you guess that? Mm. Ever since I started doing commentaries, I never really said anything about libertarians. Yet I would often get comments from them accusing me of being a neocon or something to that effect. I'm talking about them jumpers now, though. Libertarians go to crying like a teenage girl that just got farted on by Justin Bieber if you say anything about them or their idol Ron Paul. Even though libertarians go around pestering people and instigating more friction than anybody, their draws get all twisted up like a yo-yo left in a washing machine because I don't agree with them. You need to do your research, Zoe. You need to study your history. No, you want me to research what you research and study history according to what you see fit so I can be all sheeped out like you. No thanks. I do not want to think like you. Anyway, I am so glad that Rick Santorum called Ron Paul out for basically having the same mindset as Jeremiah Wright. Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda have been explicit. They have been explicit and they wrote and said that we attacked, we attacked America because you had bases on our holy land in Saudi Arabia. You do not give Palestinians a fair treatment and you have been bombing I didn't say that. I'm, I'm trying to get you to understand what the motive was behind the bombing. At the same time, we had been bombing and killing hundreds of thousands of Iraqis for 10 years. Would you be annoyed? If you're not annoyed, you, then there's some problem. All right, we're gonna... And now we are indignant because the stuff we have done overseas is now brought right back into our own front yards. America's chickens coming home to roost. Ron Paul thinks we got what we deserve because we have bases in the Middle East. Would you prefer China or Russia to occupy that area instead? Because they would if they could, and that wouldn't be good. The reason why Islamofascists are angry about our bases being over there is because it kind of messes up their plans. No criminal likes it when other people stand in the way of them doing harm to other people. <laughs> Hey, you all right? Yes, yes, thank you very much. Hey, you got it. I'm glad I just happened to be in the area. Oh, my God, me too. Me too. I'm just so happy you're here to help this woman who I was mugging. There need to be more people in the world like you and less people in the world like me. I, I, I love you, man. Ron Paul believes it's better for us to deal with the enemy over here rather than keeping them occupied in a theater away from the U.S. Wow, that's the kind of president I want, a president that's going to keep our nation safe by inviting the war to be fought on our soil. Ron Paul obviously thinks we're stupid because he tries to use the language of, I don't want to cut defense spending, I want to cut military spending. I would say there's a lot of room to cut on the military, but not on the defense. You can slash the military spending. Uh, Mr. Paul, our military force is our defense force. If you cut military spending, then you will cut defense spending. Americans go into the military to defend our country. Sometimes to defend our country, it takes our military being in different parts of the world. That's not imperialism, Ron. I would not endorse a person for president who would not denounce any of his supporters that believe that 9-11 was an inside job. Obviously, Ron Paul doesn't believe it was an inside job because he believes we got what we deserve by people from the Middle East who hate us. So one would think he would reject their assertions, but nah. Ron Paul supporters right now at this very moment are dripping mouth foam all over their computer as they get ready to unleash their charge of me being a neocon. I know libertarians insist a neocon is someone who advocates American intervention all over the world to promote democracy. But I offer you this. A neocon is actually a so-called fiscally conservative social liberal. The term neoconservative was used as early as the 1960s in referring to a person who was supposed to be conservative but wasn't. There's other terms that kind of mean neoconservative too. We call them rhinos or even uh, moderates. Libertarians and liberals support a state's right to legalize drugs, legalize prostitution, abortion, the redefinition of marriage, and insisting that our founding documents are not Judeo-Christian based. I'm not in that boat. Therefore, I am not a social liberal. Therefore, I am not a neocon. I've heard libertarians talk about their fantasies of their isolated state or island where people are free to do drugs, partake in prostitution, have abortions, marry whomever or whatever they want under a constitution that doesn't have a Judeo-Christian foundation. Well, guess what? It's not going to be conservatives who are going to flock to your state. It's going to be liberals. And you guys deserve each other. The ideology of you libertarians is so backwards, it's unreal. 
You tell us to look at Portugal as your perfect point that legalizing drugs helps people quit. Really? Number one, what the hell kind of selling point is that? You want drugs to be legal. As if drugs are a good thing to have legal. Yet what's good about making this good thing legal is that it will make people want to stop using this good thing. But more and more people in Portugal are getting treated for their drug addiction, so... Really? And who's paying for their drug treatment? It wouldn't happen to be being paid for by the taxpayer now, would it? I thought you libertarians wanted to get the government out of the way. Libertarians, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. You're not gonna find too many people who are going to pay for their own drug treatment program if they don't want to quit doing drugs. If a person is gonna be forced into rehab, the taxpayer is gonna be the one left with the bill. So much for getting the government out of the way. Again, libertarianism leads to bigger and bigger government. So you can point to Portugal all you want. It just makes you look like hypocrites because you'd have to bring in the government to do what you're proposing despite your claims to always wanting to get the government out of the way. And...